Hello and welcome back to James Plays Caesar 4. We're on to the next mission. Taraco. While battles with Carthage raise in Hispania, Rome quietly expands her influence to the east. Carthaginian armies must be defeated to secure Rome's dominance in Hispania. Modern day Spain, here we are over here. We're looking at the Mediterranean. Beautiful there, I'm sure. Spain is south of Europe, northern Europe up here. Nice and south and sunny down here, so sunny Spain. Nice. Let's get a start. Ah, lovely Hispania. A wonderful sunny place for a summer estate. The province of Taraconesis in eastern Hispania would be an ideal location for a senator's third or fourth home. It's a short cruise down the Gaulish coast to from Italia, and yet far enough from Rome to feel one has gotten away with from the rigors of the city. There we are. But before Rome's ambitions in the area can be realized, Tarraconesis requires a coastal capital city to provide a trade center and the facilities necessary for the further development of the province. There's also the matter of Carthage's armies attempting to conquer the area, build a city at Taraco, and protect it well from Carthaginian threats. Seek military goods through trade, and concentrate on raising your defenses against the conquerors from Africa. Rome is counting on you. Uh, Rome can count on me. No problem, Caesar. We got you. Senate of Rome. It's a republic still, so we don't have Caesars yet. 20 culture, so easy. Security, 50. Prosperity, 25. Favor, mere 30. Thousand population. I did a run through and beat the city in just a matter of minutes. So it was kind of quick. Actually, I don't even know if we'll need a part two. Well, an hour might do it. So it's very simple. Those are low. Well, I went far into debt, but I got right out again. So here we are. We got some clay. We got some sand. They come from here. Lots of trees. Some rocks. A ton of farmland. Some pottery out here. That's okay. We got some rocks out here. <laughs> That's about it out there. Uh, iron? Nope. Gold? Nope. If you look at here, you can see that we don't have any olive groves, we don't have any grape farms, marble quarry, nope, gold, nope, iron, nope. Vegetable farm, no! No vegetables. Okay, we're on pause. $10,000. And if you look at these, this is a good way to kind of check what you got. No olive oil, no jewelry, no utensils, no wine. All you got is furniture factories, which is good because we got plenty of wood to chop up so we can do furniture that's good but that's the only thing you can do for the middle class but you know what you don't need it you really don't need it okay here's some along the coast here some stuff we got a road but again that road's no good that's just a diagonal road but we're gonna push past these mountains right push past the mountains and we got so many trees, we don't need any of these trees. We're going to take them all out. We don't need them. Got plenty of trees. That's a good place to build a city. Right there. We're trying not to go so far into debt. As I did last time. we got to get beyond these mountains, though. See, that's all nice and flat. It's not rolling hills like they were in the last city. And we're getting up close to the farmland here. So let's see if we can do this a little more economical than my playthrough. So I went into that bad. Let's see. How did I do this? 
think made my city kind of something like something like this. Get rid of these trees. Don't need them. Don't need them. Don't want them. Get them out of there. Get out of my way. Trees. Okay, let's put in our Jim Antonius, Jemis Antonius block. Now, I don't want to get over on the farmland, so. Like I said, we don't need that big a city. We can do this. That works. And another little block of guys here. A lot of setup here. I did a lot of setup before I let it go, but I went three thousand dollars in the debt by the end of the year i got the debt taken care of so we're back in business but you know how we roll we go put on the plan here before we put in all those houses because each house costs you 45 bucks well if they call them in roman times denarii denaro denarii all right there we go oops we got a little doohickey there never need them I just mess you up there you go I don't know it does that when you click off the road sometimes so we got farmland we got farmland so we're gonna go out here to the farmland we got a rock right there so we can get that going all right and we're gonna need some middle class how about this road do we need this road absolutely not dumb road taking up all that space with a diagonal no good. Okay. I think we got this. Okay. We're far enough away from those. We got the uh, shoreline out there. So, I don't know. Let's go over here. Remember this. We'll put this in here. All right. I think we only need four of these guys. Face the road. Face the road. Put in a road. Very nice. And believe it or not, we can sneak past that rock with our water. And we like to put it right up snug against the middle class there. That's close, but that aqueduct will fly right through there. Watch. It'd be better if I could go out here than out here and around, but I don't know. I had a little bit more room there. What are we doing? Okay. Good. Pump house. I think it fits right on the end there. Look at that. Hey <laughs> nice. Okay. And there's our basic city plan. We're close to the farmland. We got plenty of farmland. We can put in our I do that a lot. Little Jupiter shrine. Alright, we'll just go Mars. And we'll put Mercury back here. Get some money from Mercury. Could use it. And our divine tax office. Make sure Caesar gets his due. Get some money for running the city. There we go. Now how we do. How we do. How we do. Every time we make the Jimus Antonius blocks here. And doesn't do him any good, but we'll give him a clinic. He'll still get malaria. They don't care. There we go. And the prefect's office keep things legal. Take care of any fires. Take care of any criminals. Bad guys show up. They never showed up last playthrough. I wasn't too fast. I don't want to do that. I like to play the military. Show you how that's done. I won't show you how to do the school again because I already did that twice. <laughs> silly. Silly me. Use the same thing about chess and everything. <laughs> Okay, well, I think we can just put the school in. Let's just put it in. Why not? There. Gives those guys something to do. It's a little bit overkill, but it's all right. There we go. Now we got, got ourselves a school. Put an odium in there eventually. Uh, and look what we have over here. Easy access to all our essentials. But... 
this is a military mission and see what we have over here some more guys over here all right so let's put in a road over here for our commercial area over here by the port because I think one of them is a port put a nice long road in here back this way that's good maybe back this way right so along here we're gonna do this a little better I think we go over here we get some clay digging camps over here one two three One, two, three. Good, good, good. And guess what? This is nice. I didn't have it quite this nice before. I struggled a bit over here. But now we got it. One, two, three. Because they want 65. We'll see. We want a lot of pottery. So we're pottering it up here. Pottery factory. One, two, three. I'll stick one over here. Four. That should be plenty. Go up here. I Narbo, I think it's Sistine Gall would be. 95. 95 pottery. That's a lot of pottery, but they do send us our precious iron. And we don't get, have it anywhere else, so yes, we're going to do that. And let's see, the other guy, this guy, we'll open him up to 500. Yep. Remember, Sispeen Gall is the guy with the pottery. Do him first. Uh, not there. How about over here? Taking up some farmland, but don't let it worry. We got plenty of farmland. No, no, I don't like that. It's not right. Let's see. When you erase it, you have to go back to the shop screen again. You put it in there wrong. I didn't have the stairs right. There we go. Good to go. And pottery. Maybe we'll hold off on this because I went into debt before doing that. But okay, we'll sell some pottery first before we get iron. Because no enemy showed up, so that was fine. And we're going to do the same thing over here. We're gonna, only we're going to do it with sand. Sand collecting camp. One, two, three, four, five. That's a lot, right? But we got a lot of glass. One, two, three. Oh, uh, oops, I like that. Four. For nil. How about, how about this? Get that out of here. Wasted money. Like that. Then we can do four here. Like this. Pack them in. Alright. Cut. Pottery. And we'll hook this up. There we go. Right? Now we got this guy. Oops. Sorry. Our city needs more food. It needs food. It needs everything. I haven't even started it yet. We're all doing setup here. Spending a ton of money. $3,000 left, so we're good. Cool. Maybe we could do that. Get that out of there. There we go. Yeah, I love this song. So sad. Longing. Sad longing. What's what we got here? Good ass. Sell it. Sell it. We won't need cosmetics at all, so just sell it. And of course, you never know. 
you might need a glass. Already overflow. I don't know. We're selling a ton of it. How much overflow can we have? Who knows? Uh, maybe we'll just economize by putting half glass, half pottery for now. If it gets to be a problem. Like I said, this, this uh, seemed to be pretty easily done. Okay, we got that. We just need a little coverage. Look at that. Fits right in there. Isn't that cute? And we'll put another coverage down here. There you go. Okay, there's a nice little compact area of uh, our industry. That's good. That's good. Okay. That's good. That's good. Now, we want military out here as well, right? We got. Where the heck's the city? Over there? Okay. City's over there. Got our own glass and pottery over there. But what we're going to do is get in prep for our military. Now, the lat Latium is, is a port, so I'm going to need to put a port down here somewhere for Latium. It's our weapons. But not until we get an army going. So we go like this. Good. Greenfield. Greenfields. Cattle field, cattle pasture. Yep, get that going. Don't have any veggie fields. This city doesn't have veggies. So, cattle farm. Grain farm. There we go. Nice. That's our food. So we need a granary out here. Put it in. Oh, great. That's good. Get the food going. And we're going to need some timber. Timber cut camp. See how sweet that is, huh? Uh, we'll put in a couple. Because Latvia buys 50 weapons. So we're going to want to do 50 weapons out here. That's good. Okay, that's a bit of a hill. All right. We'll come out here and hopefully what do we need for armor all right sheep farm nice okay it's gonna be a little funky out here gotta get beyond here but that hour that'll work that'll work for ladies and gentlemen Jamie Mandelaire YouTube channel people my people and there we go what do we need? Hello, you know, I know, we all know. We need strategics out here. And we'll try not to put any clay in. In my last city, I had to give the warehouse job to this cousin of an, a senator or something, you know, and he, the senator asked me to do it, so I gave the guy a job. He was the worst warehouse guy I've ever had. I, I didn't say anything, you know, senator's cousin or whatever he was, so I let it go, but he put clay in, he, he put wool in, and all kinds of trouble. Uh, I'm glad I don't have to deal with him. We got a much better guy now. He's a professional. He knows what he's doing with the warehouses, so that's good. Gamer Chamber, you ever gonna uh, turn this guy on and let it go? Let it get going here? We got everything but food we don't have any food out here not at all oh my god see how i went into debt by just fiddling around out here you know how it starts we just gotta have food we don't want riots like we had in the last city it's probably all that that stupid warehouse guy's fault people were mad maybe it was i didn't have any food but maybe maybe it was the food <laughs> they were rioting like a big dog so Let's give them some food before they take it out on us, right? But that's all right. We know how to do it. Are we encroaching a little bit? Nah, hardly any. So what big difference does that make, huh? What we need, as you know so well by now, is a little cattle farm. Nice. Let's turn it south toward the fields. And we can put in a green farm. We can't do anything else because they don't let us. 
got room right here for a grain farm. I'll feed into the granary, and all we need is to go up here to the cattle pasture. We'll get that going. Cattle. Cattle. There's a fence there facing toward the farm. There's a fence there opening. That's where the they go. So, uh, grain field. Oh, I don't know. Let's see if we can get it close enough. There we go. Some grain. That'll work. Well, that's going. Got some fields out there for the military. Okay. Do we have a granary out here somewhere? Yeah, we do right here. Okay, and then we'll put the military uh, mess hall out there. Uh, this is, of course, for the city. I think that's good. That's good. Let's get it going, and then we can put in our needs for the city down here. Minimal. Minimal. We don't have to rush it. We got an hour. And I, I wanted just a few minutes. Now here they come. Let's watch them come in. Watch them get their water. Uh, they're not going to get any water. We can make a mob seed for water. You want to do that? That's kind of fun. We'll let them come in. And then we'll make a mob seed for water. Here they come. They're coming in, but they don't have a fountain. You let them all get in here first. Then you'll see the mob scene at the fountain. There we go. Moving in. I often do this. I like to do this. Uh, do we need anything up there? No. No, no. No, we're watching them come in. They're not gathered around the fountain. You know why? Because there isn't one. I'm letting them get thirsty here. Then you'll see a great, great thing that I like to do. It's a mob scene. There's 500 citizens with no water, but they're still coming in. They'll start rioting, too, if they don't get any water soon. But they will. We'll get them water. Hold on. Just let them get in here so we can have a mob scene. You'll see what I mean. I'll put it right here. And then they'll come and mob it because they'll all want water at once. It's just kind of fun. Make sure they're not going to go too far because they'll start rioting. In you go. Come on, guys. Okay, there's the last guy. He's coming in. Then we'll create a mob scene for water here. Come on in. Okay, everybody's in who's coming to shore. Okay. <laughs> That's it. Put the fountain in. Watch the mob scene. They'll all come at once. Mob the water fountain. <laughs> all at once. All right, all right. One at a time, one at a time. There you go. That's the ticket. All got their water. I like the mob scene. I should have slowed it down for you. Okay. We got their water. They're happy. Let's put it in the road. Do our plaza thing. Epidemic outbreak, of course got water that that doesn't mean that they're not gonna have an epidemic they got sick folks do they have a clinic yeah but does it matter no it doesn't matter they want what they want okay foods cooking maybe just for the heck of it we'll put in another we couldn't put in another vegetable farm so we'll put in two grain farms I'll show them Oh, that's kind of far away, but that's good enough. They'll go out there. Take a nice little stroll down the road, past the other grain farm, out to the fields. So we don't have any rioters. 
They're nice. They'll give us a little bit of a break. How many guys? Our do we city need? doesn't have enough workers. Uh, Our city needs more Six hundred and eight workers. Hey, it's red. That means there's 608 people needed for our industry, and we don't have them. That's why it's in the red. Over here, however, it's in, not in the red because we have 16 people sitting at home. And we don't have any jobs for them to do because we didn't put anything in but a school. There's 16 people still waiting for a job. Right? Education, 18 Right? Religion, we got 45 guys because we got the shrines. 22 for healthcare because of the clinic. Right? Justice and tax. Okay. 45 for water. Uh, we need a lot of guys over here, but you know what? We didn't fill in these guys. We got a, over a thousand dollars. We're not in debt like I did in my first run through. Went way into debt because I just. I just prepped too much and there wasn't anything left after I was done, but it only took a little while to catch up. Before December came, like six months or so, I was back in black. Well, we're gonna be a little smarter this time. That's why we do a run through, so we can not waste your time with stupidity. <laughs> People are precious to me. I don't wanna waste your time. So we'll put in a few more guys. And, of course, we'll go down here with our $822. And let's put in a little industry here like we did over there. How about we'll come back this way. Let's see what we got. We don't need much, right? Just a sand collecting camp. Another one. All right. We're going to need a road. There we go. And come off th this way. <clears throat> ah, a little stuffed up today, folks. Sorry about that. Yeah, you get older, your body has these strange quirks, you know. Yeah, I'm 67 years old, folks. Somehow I've been around a long time. Used to be a young pup. That's wrong. Nuts, young pup just was a stupid young pup. Those are supposed to be clay camps, not glass. Oh my god. There we go. And because we don't have a million guys here, population a thousand guys, oh, put in a pottery camp there. And it's overkill, but we'll put in the glass. Right. And, of course, that won't do us any good without a basic goods market down here. Let's put it up here. Nice out of the corner there. Guy's still coming in. Go in those houses we put in there. See if there's any de desirability problems. What's that you say? Gamer Jamer family? I heard you. I know. We got to have a base of good city warehouse. Okay. Ep Epide Ep <laughs> Epidemics. Okay. Basic goods. There we go. There we go. We don't have any clothing yet, but we might. We've got pottery. We've got glass. We might have some clothing later because we're going to have plenty of wolves. So might as well, right? Maybe not. Let those guys bump quickly up and they will they will these guys a bit gone might need to put in another one as the city grows maybe not I think we ought to grace them with a bathhouse I'm not sure we would only have a few oh, let's see we're 24 workers. short already so we're going to need to bump them up 285 instead of 700 short there but we're, now we're short over here why, I don't know. What did we do? Did we put something in for them? I think we did. But we can. We can. One thing we can get is furniture. So we got plenty of trees. So I say we go out here, just like we did for the pottery and the glass. Do a little favor for our esteemed middle class. 
put up. The only thing they give us is a furniture factory, so we'll do it. We got a furniture factory out here. Just one. We don't need a million. Okay. Now I'll feed the city. Make these guys jump up if they get themselves a luxury market. Very quick. You see, this is a quick one. What I can do, ah, I'll put it up here somewhere. What the heck? Make them walk. Okay, we got this here, so can it fit right next to that furniture factory? Maybe. That'd be nice. Oh, I like it. I don't even need a warehouse. Just feed it right into there. Right? We don't need a warehouse. We only got furniture, so we'll feed it in there. They don't let us get anything else. There's no other imports. These guys will not get up the full, full uh, evolution. So we don't need we don't need a wall either, because they can only evolve once. If these guys evolve twice, these guys can evolve once. We only got 25, I think, prosperity. All right, we're 715 dollars still left over. It's September. We got enough to pay Caesar, and then in January we can begin to make our strategics. We can import ourselves some iron. And we'll begin to build up our weapons manufacturing. So we can send 50 to Latmium. And then uh, we'll have a couple of armor factories once we get the wool in. And it's cooking over here. Granary's looking good. Yeah, I don't think we'll invest in the uh, mess hall until next year. 133 BC. Well, I don't know why it goes up. BC should go down, right? Toward BC. Started at 130, now it's 133. Goes the other way. I don't know, maybe they didn't quite figure that out. Everybody makes mistakes. I'm not sure about that. Right? BC counts down to zero, and then you start with the uh, AD, or whatever they call it nowadays. They don't call it AD after divinity anymore. Don't want to upset the Jews and the Muslims and the Buddhists and the Hindus with our Christian bias. That was middle age stuff. We're much, much better than that now, supposedly. Okay. Got some pottery coming in. Yeah, I like to look and see how the clay pits are putting up. There should be plenty. Plenty of clay. Plenty of sand. Sand gets going too. Looks like the warehouses are working right. We got glass and pottery in here. Selling glass. 1200 now in October, so we're making money. That's good. We got wool, got iron. I think we might be able to even $1,500. Why don't we start, jump the gun a little bit. Not on him. Where's the other guy? This guy? Yeah, this guy. Why don't we start buying some iron? That, that won't kill us before September. Okay, half an hour. And we're, oh, we got rioters. I think we got rioters. Yep. I'll slow them down so I can snag them. They're funny. Power to the people. Power to we the people. We yell because silence implies consent. We yell because silence implies consent. Power to the people. Oh, okay, well, they're, they're mad. Oh, it's just so sad. It breaks my Roman heart to see the rabble in the streets yelling and screaming. Yes, yes, here they are. But they'll all go home once we get the food going, and we got some food in. Look at these guys getting food. They got water, they're getting food. They're already evolving. This guy's gone right up the balconies. So they're evolving. It's November. We got plenty of money. Let's get some improv going here for the... Let's see if we can watch the traders come in for this. That's the glass guy. I think that the Iron, Iron Man is over here. Right? Yeah. It's just being gall. Here he goes. Let's 
going to give us some iron and see if it takes too big of a hit on us. I don't think it will. Got some pottery to buy. Get that pottery in there. All right, we still made money off that. And we got iron, so that's good. And I believe we've got this guy here, the strategic dude. I'm skipping town when the gods decide to show their anger at this place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody's got an opinion, pal. There he goes. Past the irate guy. He's got a rake. <laughs> He's got a weapon. Oh, no. Yes. He's getting our... We didn't go into debt. That's great. We didn't go into debt. Oh, my God. Look out for the rabble. Oh, you're going to get your head busted. They are mad. But don't worry. They won't be for long. They want that food that's sitting in that granary not doing anything. They got a right to be mad. Nope. Whoa, 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 the earthquake here. Yeah, it gets a little wonky. When it goes over the hills like that, oh my god, wonky. Oh, oh, let's get out of that. All right. <laughs> Got a wonky road right there. I guess we could do this. Instead of having it be that uncomfortable for the poor guy, we'll go over here like that. Take this road out. We don't need no wonky roads. There. Easier for those guys anyway. And we'll build up our military out here. How many guys we got? We must be our getting pretty good. 164, 24 of them guys. All right. They should be getting the benefit of their evolutions. It's take a while. We got one furniture factory, one timber yard, short 44 people. We don't have all the guys yet, but everybody's bumping up. Low class, upper class, we'll get our prosperity that way. Isn't it nice of them? This is an easy city because it's so nice of them. They put the strategics over here. I mean, the, uh, not strategics, the basic goods over here just so we can easy access to the city. Got 1,600 population. 2303 and it's January. So we're doing great. Let's get a military going in case the bad guys show up. I don't think they do. But we can invest in military. We got plenty of guys getting iron coming in. So we're going to need a recruitment post. We're going to hear where the weapons will be. That works. And we get a mess all. Right next to the granary. So we'll put this in just for a heck of it. There we go. Do do do. Nice song. Do do do. There we go. Having a little trouble here putting it in the granary because there's nothing in the granary. You see when it does that, that means that there's a harvest that can't get to the granary because the granary is full and this farm is full so it can't process this grain and it leaves a little in the field. But we just opened up this so it took some grain out so that'll disappear soon. Okay, what we need got our strategics, we got our iron, we got everything we need there. And so, it is time to surround this with access. I don't know, here we go. We're going to put in an armor factory, yes. Armor factory. Where's the mannequins? Okay, well, armor factory. Maybe another one here. All right, so there's that. Armor. And of course, ever in a nod, we'll put an armor warehouse. This armor's gonna get stuck up in there. 
Let's see, we got 2700 bucks, so we're going to open up the big bucks here. Plenty of money to do it. In Sardinia, Sardinia only sends exotic goods, which we won't need. We might open up that. Only problem is here, this is a trade port. Trade port. So, trade port. Look at it. Look at it goes in here. Somewhere. I know it does. I saw it flash. You look, you see it flash. You know you got it in here. Come on. Oh, there we go. And even though that's an inlet, it will work like that. And that's why we didn't put a weapons warehouse down there. So we need it over here. Right? Out to here. Ah, yes. Excellent. And doesn't sell anything but weapons. Okay. So that's what we're going to do. We'll put our weapons warehouse out here. Or any overflow that might go, I don't know, it's 50, so how much overflow can there be? But our warehouse guy's a professional, he's not somebody's, some senator's cousin, like last city. He's a chump. Just don't tell the senator I said that. Okay, there we go. And that's going to be big bucks. I hope the ship can get in there. I don't think it would give us the uh, trading port if the ship couldn't make it. So that's good. But uh, not gonna be very good if we don't get some weapons factories out here, huh? I can hear you out there. You're going, Jamer, Gamer, Jamer, you gotta get some weapons out here, Chief. And heck, we could put them right up here. A little closer to the trade port. One, one, <laughs> one and one, two. Need a lot more than two. Another one up here? Oh my god, how concise. Three. Let's go with three. We got two armors and three factory, three weapons. We'll do that for a while. We'll get this filled up with weapons. And we'll be good to go. Get that filled up with weapons. Good. And I don't know. I think that's just kind of a bit of a strain on all those, those guys. Can't fit them another weapon stick here so let's give a little added boost to the protection down here these factories do tend to have a tendency to burn all right we might need let's put in another timber camp just for the heck of it somewhere about there go run out there and find the trees over here oh they're over here oh we got two of them there there should be plenty there. there, instead of there, we'll put one up there. Okay, should be plenty. We gotta crank out 50 weapons, so we're gonna put some more down here. But we're not selling them yet. We shouldn't sell them yet. I shouldn't. I might have them be sold, but we don't need the money, so let's not sell them yet. We'll we will sell them in due time. But we want those weapons to go into the making our esteemed soldiers we need those weapons for soldiers uh, what was that oh okay that's right that's good i'll take it out of there for a while and put it in the uh the uh recruitment the recruitment station or whatever it's called Recruitment post, of course. Recruitment post. Jamer Gamer. What are you talking about? All right. Let's see what we're doing with weapons in here. Yeah, we got a weapon. We'll get it up to 20 and then we'll slam in a wonderful heavy infantry. Let's go and see how we're doing over here. We can't spend all our time out there in the workday world. We got to come here and see how we're doing. Guess what we need out here? I think we should put in an odium for these poor people. Um, I don't know, up here, up here. I don't know if it'll reach. We want to make sure it gets these guys. Yeah, that'll do. And we we'll put one up there if we need to. Okay, that'll make them happier, you know. We'll go out to their odium. 
we had some coverage up there with the lower classes. But we want to definitely cover the middle class with an odium. Otherwise, there's no entertainment. They will leave your city. And then all of a sudden, you got none of these guys. Kind of a drag. Well, let's do the overlay. Up to entertainment. You've seen it before. Odium. Eh, a few heathen up there that need it, but that'll keep us happy for now. We're a very minimal city. We don't need a lot. Let's go to our stats. Our city needs more workers. Does it? Oh, 151? Heck, we got more that. More attention must be paid to our city's prosperity. Yeah, we've already got favor. We've already got culture. We've got security. The only thing we need is this prosperity to go up a few points. And that's easily done. Once these guys all come up, then we'll have prosperity. And unless Caesar's mad at us, we'll... We'll win automatically. It's that easy. Before any enemies show up or anything, we'll win. It's a very easy mission. Let's see, we're 45 minutes in. I think we can do it. I don't know, it might go a little over, maybe not. Gotta sell some weapons here. We're just waiting for this to get 20 by 20. And. I mean, we don't have to. Got the money. We don't have to. It'll, it'll keep building up. So we'll put this in here. Get away from that rock so they got plenty of time to deploy. deploy. I think they call it deploy. And we got the money. I say let's put another one. Put one of these guys in too. They don't have to touch the road, so that's good. There we go. And we'll just take care of that. And once these guys are. Filled up. Excuse me. We'll be just fine. Just fine. Military started. Not sure what the uh, African uh, West Hispania bad guys are like. I don't rem they didn't show up last playthrough, so we'll see. I don't know how many guys we'll need. They usually just kind of show up with just a few guys to test us out. Clay looks good. Glass looks good enough. $949. Guess we could take a break on the uh, iron imports. How are we doing? 50 by 50. We got it all. Okay. 73 of 95, and it's only August, so that ought to be good. We got 1300 back. There's a little lag time. I know it's annoying. As, uh, as it goes on, I think the lag gets longer. So if it's a little confusing, I'm sorry about that. It's the technology. It's not me. Uh, and, you know, I could invest in a better program. They have other programs. This is Windows. And it's a little wonky. Sometimes the uh, people talk like demons. You got lots of echo and sometimes really scratchy. I, I, you know, I watch these, so I know. I know the problems, and I'm sorry about that. I apologize for any inconvenience or annoyance that might have caused you. Again, I do want to thank you for watching these videos. I didn't know if my game videos would be that interesting to my subscribers. I got, eh, I got about 80 subscribers. I don't know who they all are. I try to subscribe to anybody who subscribes to me. But a lot of people don't have videos. They don't make videos. I do. I make videos. I never made any game videos before. But I really am glad I looked it up and found out how to do it. That's fun. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, love the springtime. Brings on the allergies. Four guys in there. Four guys in there. So we're doing it. I don't suppose we're ready to sell any weapons yet. Right? Got one in the warehouse there. You can put them over here. Nothing stopping them. Right? Yeah, I got weapons. I guess I got a couple in there. Sorry, they can pile them in there. I want to see how many we got anyway. Right? Where are the military guys coming from? There goes one guy in there. Where do they come from? Let's see. They'll come from out here. There he is. 
Let's follow one. A little cinematic. Get out here. Watch him come in. Watch the world from his point of view. Get over here. They'll come along. They'll be coming along. We're making weapons. There's a nice view of the city. It's a soldier's first view as he comes in. Sees the city. We'll follow him. There he is. Slow him down. And an immigrant. Nice. Remind me why I'm putting my life on the line for this again. Oh, I like the looks of this place. Ah, nice. Here he goes. I like to follow him. We're going along. He likes the look of this place. Looks pretty good, right? Get yourself some markets here. Basic goods market. He's going by the basic goods market. There he goes. There he goes, lad. Nice. I'm not locked in with him. I'm using the mouse myself to do it. it. Doesn't let you lock in with these guys until they become soldiers. Then you can. That's what I mean when I use this icon down here on the bottom. You have these icons. That's what the person is doing. That's go to the click into this guy and uh, when this brightens up you can usually click it and find yourself a character to follow around and the camera blocks in you don't have to do the mouse you just follow them around and that's you see me do that it's fun I think it's something that the other gamers I've never seen use that function because they're not little kids like me Full of childlike wonder and grace. <laughs> like to play the game for playing. Right? Following the military guys around. Locking in and following the warehouse guys and see how they're doing. It's a good way to diagnose if there's any problems in your game. I think that's why it's there. It's not just there to delight me, although it does. Look at him. He's going, going somewhere. He going, climbed over the fence there. Going through the cow pasture? Okay. Let's see what else he says. Did he say anything else? Yeah, kind of wonky. He walked right through that shed. Remind me why I'm putting my life on the line for this again. For the good of Caesar and your governor. To make sure that yours are safe and your cohorts are safe. The uh, camaraderie among the cohorts was... Very important to Rome. And they encouraged the men to be homosexual or bisexual because they felt it made a, the love between the men made a, a bond that caused them to fight for each other to the death. And that's why when old Hercules came along, I mean, Yeshua, Ben Joseph, came along, said, love the Romans. Yeah. According to the story, they didn't like that very much because the ancient Hebrews were kind of homophobic. They thought it was bad. Stupid. Love is never bad. Love is always good. Love is always the answer. Love is always right. War and violence, always wrong. No matter what kind of violence you're talking about, it's wrong. The only violence is right is the little wars we have here on Caesar Four. Because it's fun. Nobody's getting hurt. They're just... It's just history, you know? <laughs> but personal violence, social violence, political violence, always wrong. And it always makes everything worse. One day we'll learn that lesson. We'll be nicer to people. Because I like to say, my one of my sayings is, let kindness be your best virtue. And courtesy, your finest art. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. A little bit of wisdom for you here on the Caesar Four. Guys are going in to their fort. There he goes. See ya. You're in the army now. He's got his weapons. He's going on uh, to do his duty. And if necessary, to die for Rome. The answer to your cynical question is you die for Rome. And if you do die, we will replace you with someone else. Without any problem. You're replaceable. 
You're just a soldier. We love you. We love you. We honor your sacrifice. But, after all, you're no Caesar. You're just another guy. You're not even a governor. You're not even the cousin of a senator. So what do you know? We're doing quite well here. Much better than the run-through, where I went into debt. No debt here. Okay. So we're, we're doing well. It's November, so we're not importing any wine. Uh, I'm sorry, not wine. What am I saying? We got 65 of 65 glass, 95 of 95 pottery, zero weapons because we're not selling them. Let's open up this trade room. You're not going to need it. But we'll open it up. It's a water trade room. Just to win. I think I won without opening this trade. Oh, I don't remember. I don't think I opened this trade route uh, last time. So I won without opening it. But let's open it. We got it. We'll do it. Plenty of money. Plenty of success. We'll win soon. You know, all we're really waiting for is for those uh, plebs to grow up. Get the plebs. There's a thing we won't need. Now, you know, if you could come back, you can put in an upper class. We can do that. You don't need it, though, to win. I don't waste your time doing just things that I could do playing the game. You know what I mean? Playing with the game. I often do that, but not for you guys. I don't get this done as efficiently as possible, huh? Just waiting for these guys to grow up, so we'll speed it up a little bit. Not too much. I don't like to get it going too fast. It's it's unrealistic. And since this is the wind condition, I don't we'll see what this guy's station, doing. But rather, a good life. A good life. Yeah, okay. Well, that's a good life. Oh, we de-evolved. That's not good. Maybe we can up production. Yeah, let's up production down there. Alright, now, oh, he's going back out to get some water. Okay, let's watch him. And how do we up production? Look, you know how. Take this, we got the guys, out of refactory. And there's no des desirability out here, so, I mean, we can put it here. There we go. He bloody needs road access, lad. I know, I know. There you go. Road access. And. And just to make sure we win pretty soon, we can put, oh good, fits right there, excellent. Put another thing in there. All right, that'll do it. That'll definitely do it. Does it stress out our pottery? Do we need more pottery? Do we need more sand? Maybe not, there's only two. They've been going a while, so they're at full capacity there's two sand in there perfect um, let's see clay production looks excellent yes we'll double our output we need more armor all right well we're getting there these guys should all pop up really soon really soon they'll be getting their stuff be it ever so humble, there's no place like Rome. Oh boy, here we go. Guy thinks he's a comedian. You're an idiot. Hey, sorry, Father. <laughs> May Jupiter bless you with many blessings from his generosity and love. Father of the sky, bless this home. 
where it is a beautiful home. And now we have Mars. May Mars protect us and honor and increase our weapons manufacturing and also give our cohorts experience in battle so that they may see signs of his wonder and vanquish the foe. Mercury's benevolence. Nice. Mercury gives you money. He gave us some money. We're over a thousand. We're paying our folks. Somebody's sneezing at us. I think he's got some food. Some food. Let's see. There he is. Got some meat. Nice. He's the man. I have some some steak tonight. Steak on the Barbie. I love steak. I know I'm not supposed to. Sorry. I apologize to the animals. Pollution. And one of the most polluting animals there are for grazing faculties. Oh, they were sick in that house. I'm glad I got out of there. They're sick. Look at this. Look at this. Everybody's got patios. People are bouncing up. We got money. Uh, get some grain, or grain in the granary. I don't see any meat over here. Put some meat in, I guess. How we doing? 16 of 20 and 16 of 20. So slow but sure. You know, I didn't overkill on the weapons. We might even need to put some more in to make the exports. But let's get 20 by 20, and then we'll start selling weapons and our money, which we don't need. It'll go through the roof. Oh, we're over an hour. Let's see how we're doing. <sighs> 21. We got everything else. 26, 50, 33 favor. We just need these guys to jump up, and we're good. So let's speed it up. We'll go to fast. We'll get these guys to jump up. These guys to fill in. Wonderful. And we'll do it. We will do it. It's March. Okay. Everything's happening. They're happening. Oh, we should get some more stuff in here. This is what we need. I move things as fast as they can. But they that's not fast. always as fast as they'd like. Yeah, they go pretty fast. All right. Get it in there. People coming. People going. Two pottery. No glass. Well, okay. One glass. This should help. I think they're going pretty fast. Just have to get these guys to evolve. Come on, evolve, you guys. Stop living in the past. Stop believing in foolish dogma. All right? A myth is a good story. It has a lot of wisdom in it, but don't believe in myths. They're just the stories. you got to look for a little deeper for the meaning of what the myth is trying to tell you. They're just stories. They were originally... Oh, those guys are leaving. Why? No food? No, I got food. I got water. I got everything. <sighs> Oh no, not invaders. I think we're ready for them if they should come. It's taking me a while here. I don't know why they're de-evolving. Maybe they need some some of this. We could have paid them off, huh? Then we'll, we'll give them some plasma. Now. We do not want de-evolution. We want evolution, especially of these guys. All right, we're getting there. Maybe this will help. Expensive, but get around here. Stop this going on here. Oh, glass. Okay. Do we not have a bathhouse? We'll put a bathhouse in. Face it there. Nope, that's no good. It's not anywhere near the this cat over here. So this is where it belongs. I'm an idiot. Now with that little thing in the front, I think that looks much better. Okay, that'll help. We're on this guy again. Where is he? Where's our humble? 
There's no place like Rome. There we are. I don't know who that guy was. I think he was the doctor. Oh, here we go. We're running. Woohoo! Down to the. Hey, we got some stuff. I don't know what we got here. Meat? Got some more meat? Alright, buddy. What else? Be it ever so humble, there's no place like Rome. Alright, he's just sitting at home. So we're just gonna sit at home with him until he goes out somewhere. Okay? You click on the house, gives you this icon. You hit that. And if he's not just at home, sitting there, taking in and sitting in the shade. And we can see there's pottery and glass coming in. Should evolve soon. Click on the house. I oh, may be at the bottom of the social scale, but at least I'm a citizen. We were in the house. We are in the house when it evolved. And yes. And we have won in an hour and five minutes. So we went a little over on the five minutes, but... We will not need a part two for this excellent city. This magnet, James Antonius, the splendor of your city and the success of your campaigns give Rome a solid foothold in Hispania and bring great credit to your name in Rome. Now, I could continue and use our military to fight off the Carthaginians, but I think that's good. Got to upload it to YouTube and all that. So we'll call that a excellent mission. And uh, congratulate ourselves once again on another victory in Hispania. As we expand to the empire. 28 culture. Very easy to get. We didn't have to go. I don't know. Well, you didn't even put in a theater, did we? No. no. 50 security. We had that. Prosperity, 25. You couldn't give the um, middle class anything but furniture, so I couldn't get up above farther than that. Favor, 33. 2,600 population. And we'll call that a completed mission. Now, in the future missions, there'll be plenty of time for many attacks, many military campaigns ahead that are very challenging and the numbers keep getting higher and higher as you get through the Republic era and into the Empire era. And the cities get bigger and better. It's just great. So we're going to call that a day. And thank you very much. I really appreciate that. Maybe I got next couple days off before I have to go back to work. So I'll do a few more missions. We'll put them on the uh, playlist and you can watch them whenever you want. Thanks a lot for listening, liking sharing if you want to tell your folks about it your friends hey there's this weird guy that plays caesar four and he's got all kinds of audio books uh my own writings and tolkien and you got uh the christmas carol i read the christmas carol for the christmas time and lots of songs and stuff on my channel so check it out uh leave me a like make a comment give me some pointers or criticism or praise I'll heart your comment, I'll answer your comments, and it helps to spread my videos around. So I really appreciate your subscription, I appreciate you watching and enjoying another great mission. This is a military mission, but we never got to fight the guys, but they were coming, but we could have bought them off, but we're good. I knew the end was near, so thank you for watching, for listening and liking. I want to encourage you to Get as much juice out of every single holy, solid, perfect, infinite moment of your lives. Whatever you can do that makes you happy, makes you feel joy, and makes you feel good about yourself, do that. Try to find something to do for a living that you love, like I have. Talking to the world about my beliefs and about how to find courage and faith in these hard times. And I wish the same for you. Thanks a lot. Bye.